Chris Mestry cleaning, cleaning windows of the file coast. It's definitely winter. How do we know it's winter? Because Chris has got his body warmer out. It's absolutely freezing. And uh, yeah, I'm not having any of it. <laughs> so uh, I hear a number of um, window cleaners talking about um, sort of customers forgetting to leave their gates open. Naughty, naughty. So uh, it, it, it surprised me, to be honest with you, because I speak to loads of window cleaners and um, from all over the country. And it's, it amazes me. It just amazes me how many how many people do this. Um, so I, I went out to clean windows today, um, unsurprisingly, being a window cleaner. Fancy that. Goes out to clean windows. Um, I text the customers the night before last night. Go out to a house, quite a big house, and um, unlock the door. Uh, so to try to go and unlock the gate, the gate's locked. So I did the front windows, the side windows, and that's that. I don't jump fences, uh, don't jump gates. My days of assault courses are long over, you know, are long over with. That's it's done. Um, but then that that's nothing unusual. Um, I find with other window cleaners. But what I do find unusual is that some people will expect you to charge half as much. That does not make sense to me. That does not make. End of the day, I've texted the customer they have forgotten to leave their gate open that isn't my fault but what some people the way some people you know some people see this is that we've only done half the house so i'm only going to pay you half as much that's not how it works um generally not not for me i mean you know leave leave a comment in the, in the comment section let me know what your thoughts are on this ultimately uh, we text the customer the night before if the gate is left locked or blocked or for whatever reason the access we can't access it the gate's jammed whatever i'm not going to kick the door down i'm not going to hop over the the gate um i'm just going to leave it and then charge the customer the full price and that's that's how we've always operated and um i have the number of people i i speak to say that they only oh, oh well you know, i only charge them half i've only done half that's not the point the point is you're effectively taking a pay cut because the customer has forgotten to leave the gate open. That's not your fault. You're taking a pay cut as a result of someone else's fault. And um, yeah, I'm I'm not wearing that. No way. Um, and even if you've got your lads, you know, working for you, um, as I do, uh, that go out and do, you know, window cleaning, etc. Those lads expect um, a set day rate uh, or a set amount of money for a set amount of tasks. So if for whatever reason that customer pays half price because they forgot to leave the gate open ultimately it's not the the lads will get paid what i promised them they'll get paid it means me taking a pay cut um and i don't see why i should take a pay cut because a customer has been careless um and the other side of this as well is that you might get customers that just think oh well i haven't got that much money today i'm just going to leave the gate locked then it can only do half um, and there are people out there that think like this. Um, so I, I don't see why these people should be rewarded and I should be penalised. So, uh, yeah, let me know your, your thoughts on this. And, uh, yeah, I'd be interested to see how many people, what's there, you know, it can, can say they've experienced this. But ah, it's barking, honestly. There's no way I'd put up with it. But anyway, thanks for everyone uh, to everyone for liking, sharing and subscribing. And, um, yeah, we're already up to 136 subscribers blowing my mind that there's that many people out there prepared to listen to me prattle on but uh yeah long may it continue so uh i'll see you all in the next video peeps have a good one and uh stay dry stay warm Ooh. all the best bye now